That's the sign I'm looking for. So this was Hotel Romerhof, last one until I get to Vienna. Like all the hotels, restaurants, very nice. I did pay a little extra to get four star, four star hotels. So what I do now is I go around the corner to the red garage. Morgan. So I checked out my trusty steed again this morning. Looked over the bike. And I went through my packing list to make sure I've got everything. I'm back on my normal attire, which is not recommended. I'm on the on the trail again. Very interesting to me because it looks like a folding mast. Obviously, to get under these bridges around here, you can't have the mast up. So that's a very ingenious solution. Hmm. Back on the river. last day of my trip on the bicycle then from Vienna I take a train everybody says oh if you're going to Vienna you've got to spend two or three days there or a week and see all the museums and see all the sites yeah <laughs> that would be nice <laughs> if I had another week to spend but I've already been here for <clears throat> 10 days, but I do have to give credit to Rad Ryzen in Austria and Tripsite because they did all the work. Logan, I have to give them credit for that. They definitely know what they're doing about cycling. So that's why I'm, I'm taking it easy this morning. said before I I give these people a lot of credit for developing all these bike trails but the whole infrastructure is extremely well organized zoomers zoomers old guy zoomers gray hair 60-year-old guys in spandex ripping it up. That's what I like. <laughs>